Hello everyone, today we are going to learn in MS Word alignment of text. So we will learn how the left alignment, center, right, justify, then multiple alignment in a single line. After that alignment of text in diagonal, how we can uh, align the text in diagonal way, then fixing the alignment issues. Okay, so let's start. So first left alignment, you can use your shortcut control plus L to fix the left alignment. So this is the by default alignment which is selected here. If you go to uh, under the home tab and paragraph, you can select the left alignment here. So it will be left align. Okay. So now go to the next topic, center alignment. You can use the shortcut control plus E for the center alignment. So how the center alignment do? If you click on the center alignment here, so it will be aligned to the center. So left there will be space, right there will be space and middle it will be aligned. Okay. Now go to the next, how to write align. You can use your shortcut control plus R to write align the text. In right alignment, left there will be space and right it will be aligned. You can see here this is the control plus R shortcut. Left there will be space and right side it will be aligned. Okay. Now the next is justify. It will align the text both in the left and right margin by adding space so that even uh, in even words, all the words will be spread across properly. So I'll show you how it is. So once you select the data, if you go to justify, you can see that left as well as right, both space will be covered. So this is the most used uh, alignment in almost all the uh, uh, files or files. So the first preference will be left alignment and the last preference will be justify alignment. So this is the how the middle alignment and this is the right alignment. Now next go to the topic multiple alignment in a single line. How we can use the multiple alignment? So I will show you the example multiple alignment in single line. So for example in case of your resume or uh, uh, resume or CV or anywhere, you want to write the name of your college or university in the left and your year of passing in the right side. So without giving a space here. So how we can fix, how we can give different format. First, first thing is I have already written down the steps here. You can go through it. First, you have to go to your view and make sure your ruler is on. So this is your ruler, top ruler and left ruler. Make sure your ruler is ticked. Okay, then click on the, I will show you an example, with an example. So you have written college or university name, then year of passing, suppose 2000 you have written, right. So uh, I am just highlighting this one, that you have a better idea, okay. So now what, what I want is, first paragraph from here to here, I want left alignment and this word, I want right alignment. So how I can do that? So first you go here and check what tab you have. You have left tab, then make it middle, then right. Make sure it is right tab. Once you select the right tab, go and click here. For example, if you see here, it is already there. So just drag that one, okay? Now right tab is selected here. Now here what you have to go is, you have to go to your keyboard and press tab. So in that, in that keyboard, here you have tab, okay. So you press tab. So what will happen? That word will go to right alignment, right. Now I am just removing the color. Here there is no space, okay. So here if I write anything, suppose A, B, C, D, if I write, write anything, this will not change. Here you can give different format if you want to underline you want uh, removed bold, okay, you want to change the font, anything you want, you can do that, okay. So this is the one example I have given how to give the left and right alignment in a single word or sentence, okay. You can similarly, you can put a middle alignment here and fix the tab and you can try that one, okay. So next go to the next tab, uh, next text, alignment of text in diagonal how we can diagonally align the text. So there are multiple ways. I will give you just one or two ways. I have just opened the file. Let me open the file. Okay. 
So here what I have done, I have written the steps, you can go through that. First you have to copy the text. You can copy or you can use the copy your so, uh, regarding code, copy, paste, everything I have discussed already clipboard section, you can go to that. Once you copy, then go to your paste facial, you can use your shortcut also and paste as a picture. Once you paste as a picture, it will take some time. This got copied wrongly, so let's let go down and paste here. Okay, copy, paste facial, picture. I'm pasting the down. Okay, so now it is a picture. Now you can rotate anywhere you want. Okay, so you can you can rotate based on your requirement. You can use the crop option also to make it small if you want. For example, if you want to go to the format, crop and you can make it small and then you can try the rotation. So by the way, you can rotate the text. But here one drawback is you cannot edit the text. Okay. So what is the alternative way? So I'll show you another way. So another way is insert any word art. So I'll show you with an example. So I have already given example here. I will show you here how we can do that. So go to your word art, insert word art, select the first one or any one you always do your need. Type your text. I am just typing main talk text in word art. Okay. You can reduce your size and you can select your font. Suppose by default whatever font you have, you can select here. Okay. Okay. Now test will look like this. You just double click on that so that this option will be pop up. Now you change your color to your black and if you want any shadow, anything, you can modify that. Go to your format layout whether you want behind text or in front of the text regarding layout we will discuss later okay so now you can easily rotate the text if you want to edit just double click go to the edit text and you can type whatever you want see okay so this is the best, better way. You can also you can also try to insert your uh, text box, and you can also try that. But this is the best alternative way. Now, when we copy our text from internet website or some PDF, our alignment will not be fixed properly. Okay, so our al alignment, whether left or right or justify, it will not work properly. Suppose for example, I copied from internet and I just paste it, okay. So sometimes what will happen, lot of space and all the stuff will be inside that, okay. So in that case, it will not be aligning properly. So in that case, what you have to do, you have to select the, your data, go to find, I have given the shortcut here, you can go through the shortcut also, if you go here, I have just mentioned the steps. You can go to directly control H and you go to your find and replace dialog box, type control H. Then here you have to type P and replace with nothing, then replace all. Okay. So here you can see all your text will got fixed. Now easily you can justify your text. And here if you want to fix the indent, you can drag the indent based on your interest. If you press your alt key and drag, it will be dragging perfectly okay just press the alt key and drag it slowly slowly you can drag it sometimes what will happen it will not drag properly you can drag it so everything will get justified properly or whether left alignment right alignment whatever you want okay do that and my suggestion is you can use your show and hide options 
So here is a show your hide option. You can remove any unnecessary. Suppose inside you have something, some breaks. Suppose page layout. Suppose you have some section break. It is not visible here unless until you show your height. So once you show your height, if you have any break, you cannot fix the alignment. In that case, you can show at height and delete the delete the breaks. Okay. So here I have break. I'll remove that. Okay. So now the another option is always use paste facial. Page special. What is the advantage of page special? When you copy from text from uh, any uh, I mean website, there will be hyperlinks and other stuffs. To avoid that, you can use your page special and paste as a unformatted text. Okay. So the, all the formattings will go, and it will be easy for you to paste the data. And always use your new Word document file so that your main document file will not will not get tampered. Okay. Let me know if you have any. Questions in the comment section below. Thank you.